season on Terrific TV Toys, we've been looking at Snoopy PVC figures, and we've been looking at them in the context of the wonderful TV specials featuring Charlie Brown and the gang. In previous episodes, we looked at Valentine's Day and Easter-themed figures that you would have seen on store shelves with Whitman's candies or maybe Russell Stover's candies, and probably in the earlier 2000s. And we've got Halloween and Christmas coming up later this year. But there are some of these figures that don't fit into a holiday. And they more show Snoopy in various activities, like enjoying sports or whatever. And so um, for this, we decided to focus on some of the Charlie Brown specials that are non-holiday themed, but maybe enjoying summertime and enjoying sports and just getting outside and enjoying the great outdoors. So in that spirit, we are going to focus on, it was a short summer, Charlie Brown, and I love to show reading materials in these episodes. So I've got the book adaptations of these TV specials that aired um, years ago that we a lot of us grew up with. So it was a short summer, Charlie Brown, you're a good sport, Charlie Brown, and you're the greatest Charlie Brown. <clears throat> so we're going to look at each one of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you if it's been a while since you've seen this like me, and you know what, I think maybe I've only seen at least a couple of these like once, you know, I want to say on TV, and it's been a very long time. It really makes me want to look them up on demand. But if it's been a minute since you've seen It Was a Short Summer, Charlie Brown, let's refresh our memory a little bit, shall we? This is from YouTube. Mind. The first thing those boys did was issue us a challenge to a swim meet. Remember, swim to the float and back. First kid back wins for his tent. Ready? <laughs> so there's the kids competing in a swimming race, and this is that summer camp. So the context of this is that um, the kids go back to school in the fall, in September, whatever, and they have to write an essay about what they did this past summer. And so they talk about going to summer camp and they competed with each other um, in these different activities, boys against girls at summer camp. And this um, TV special, it was a short summer, Charlie Brown, was the sixth one primetime um, peanut special for Charlie Brown and the Gang. And it first aired on CBS on September 27, 1969. So if you've got this book like I do, you could relive the moments. Love it. There's... Uh, Charlie Brown and his dog. You know, his dog follows him everywhere. I will note, you know, I was reading these to prepare for this episode and refreshing my own memory. And what is fun is that in every one of these three particular specials, you see Snoopy as what is called the masked marvel, okay? He arm wrestles Lucy in this one. I love it. Um, there he is as the masked marvel. It even refers to him here. The masked marvel here will be our champion. Um, so just an interesting note because Snoopy is the star of this episode. All right, the other one, or the next one we're going to talk about, and this is from Scholastic Books. Remember those when you were a kid? Your Good Sport Charlie Brown was the 14th primetime special. It first aired on CBS on October 28, 1975. And in this one, Peppermint Patty talks Charlie Brown and the gang into doing a motocross race. Remember how motocross was popular back in the 1970s? Um, so it was featured on a lot of other TV shows. So that is fun. I remember being in school and seeing like motocross videos too. Um, so yeah, wow. Relive in the moments there. And the masked Marvel enters the motocross race. So he's there racing as well. There he is on his motocross bike. And then Snoopy at the beginning, too. I will note there's a sequence at the beginning where Snoopy plays tennis, which is kind of fun, too. So Snoopy doing all kinds of things following around Charlie Brown and upstaging him a lot, too, right? 
And then we have You're the Greatest, Charlie Brown. So this one was the 18th primetime special for Peanuts, and it aired first on CBS on March 19, 1979. And here, Charlie Brown competes in a decathlon for the Junior Olympics, believe it or not. And he does really well. I won't spoil it. Um, and Snoopy also complete, competes as the masked marvel again. <laughs> Another great primetime special. I swear, like this one, I've only seen once. I really have to look it up. And then there's this really obnoxious kid called Freddy Fabulous, who's like, you know, the big champion who comes in and trash talks and all that. And, oh, I'm going to win. I'm going to blow you kids away. Don't even bother. You know, that whole thing. So, <laughs> very fun. <laughs> I wonder if those are at Apple Plus, like the other Charlie Brown specials. I'm going to have to look into that. Anyways, let's talk about the PVC figures because here we have Snoopy doing all kinds of great stuff. Some of these are from Whitman's Candies. As I mentioned, you see the W for Whitman's. And I was able to find a couple of these online. And some of them might be from somewhere else. And in fact, since I picked up the baseball one first, let's take a closer look at that. And I'm going to show you a site that I've mentioned before in the Easter episode. Um, it is called snoopin4peanuts.com. If you can see this, snoopin4peanuts.com. <laughs> right now you can buy some of these. It's crazy. So let me show you. In fact, on the box... I um, wouldn't necessarily advise you to, you know, eat the candy or anything. Where did I see? There it is. Okay, the baseball player. Right now, this is for sale. And this is how it originally looked on store shelves on this colorful box of four Whitman chocolate candies. Right now, you can snag this for $7.95 as I'm shooting this on this website. So that's the baseball player and there's also the golfer as another good example here's him on the box very very similar but he's golfing and that one is currently as of shoot time 995 so here he is close up all right and he's got his golf clubs and Woodstock is there with him and these all have the imprint for United Feature Syndicate copyright, but they really are not dated. I looked at all of them before shooting, and none of them have a date. So I'm going to have to go with the dates that I had, rough date range that I had established in the previous episode. All right, so we got a baseball player, and we've got a golfer. How about Joe Cool? Joe Cool with his sunglasses. This is a keychain. They did a lot of keychains with these PVC figures. So he's got his sweater on that says Joe Cool. And his little shorts match his sunglasses. <laughs> the little lightning bolt or the glimmer and shine. There he is. That's a nice little keychain. And there's one that's roller skating. Oh. How oh, cute. This is a smaller one, so it makes me want to say that it um, is on a different kind of candy. Roller skating or rollerblading, whatever it is, with the imprint on the back of his head. Got a red shirt on. Doesn't really stand up. And here he is, maybe at summer camp or just enjoying the great outdoors with Woodstock. This camping outfit, his backpack. Woodstock's got a little hat on to match, <laughs> and he's got his binox. He's checking out the scene. He's hiking or something. And here's Snoopy driving in a little car, a little green car, with his ears blowing back of him. You know dogs, they love to ride in cars and feel the wind in their ears. <laughs> And here is um, Snoopy summertime again. Almost looks like Easter. Maybe it is. I don't know. But he's carrying ice cream cones. So I considered it a regular generic one. 
You can correct me if I'm wrong. He's got a little bow tie on with his vest. Two ice cream cones. And here he is playing basketball. Another small one, like the roller skating one. This one's got a little bit of pink something on it, pink ink or stain or something. But there he is with a basketball, dribbling the basketball. Okay. Flying in an aerial plane with his sunglasses on. Again, his ears blowing behind him. And sunbathing with Woodstock, and Woodstock has sunglasses on as well. Love the pink sunglasses. And that's got the imprint on the bottom, United Feature Syndications. Oh, United Feature Syndicate, Inc. Yeah, now I'm seeing that off-camera peanuts made in China. And um, there's this guy, too. I just threw this in there. I don't know where this came from. I don't remember. But when I lived in Georgia many years ago, I had this hanging from my ceiling fan, I think, in my dining room. <laughs> uh, but it's just Snoopy, the Red Baron. It's just got a, a brief copyright imprint here, UFS. Again, made in China. I don't know if that was Whitman's. Or another kind of candy, or how that came, but it's just got a beaded cord here, and that's it. So that's kind of the mystery item for today. But there's a bonus item, just like with the Easter episode. I had a bonus item that was a plush Snoopy from Whitman's Candies. I got a bonus item here. It is not from Whitman's. It's from some other kind of candy, but it's in... Um, tribute to the one that featured the motocross race. You're a good sport, Charlie Brown. It's a tribute to that TV special. It's Snoopy on a motorcycle. It's not exactly a motocross bike. It's a motorcycle. But um, it's something that once held candy. There's a little door on the bottom that you can open up, and it had like um, hard candy balls in there, as I recall, like the little, little tiny balls, if I remember correctly, in there, which of course have all been long consumed. And it still has the tag on it, so I figured, fig figured it would be um, interesting to feature this. Peanut Snoopy motorcycle with candy balls. And um, on the back, it's got peanuts.com. This one is copyright 2011, Peanuts Worldwide. It's got a little bit of other verbiage on the back. Nutrition facts. And here it says distributed by Gallery of Hebron, Kentucky. And it's got Gallery USA, G A L E R I E USA dot com is the website on that. So an interesting other Snoopy figure. And the wheels actually move. So it's sort of a working piece. Nothing else moves on it. I love how the front has the headlight an iridescent, like um, it's a sticker that's iridescent. And it even has a kickstand. Okay, that part moves. It's actually a kickstand. <laughs> oh yeah, like that. Because it kind of will stand on its own. It just leans on its own if you don't use the kickstand. And then it's got an imprint over here for gallery. Copyright PNTS. Peanuts. Made in China. There he is with sunglasses. All right, so that's our bonus item for today. All right, so we've got a couple more episodes in this series this season. Next up is Halloween in a couple months, so we will see you then. And thank you for watching Terrific TV Toys.